Welcome to another tech video. So today we're going to be looking at a Dell laptop um, that's suffering from uh, shut off after being on the battery for about uh, ranging from anywhere from 10 seconds up to about a minute but about the minute is the maximum that uh, they can get out of the battery use. So it's a Dell Inspiron P66F. Uh, I think it's a Core i7 machine. Uh, let's have a look inside it. So, yes, yeah, a Core i7 with Radeon graphics. As you can see here, it's fairly old, um, but uh, still works well. So, uh, yeah, they want to um, they want to get the battery changed for something that lasts a little bit longer than what it is currently. Um, so, without further ado, let's get that changed. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing we want to do, the tools that you're going to need, at the moment, Phillips screwdriver. So we're going to remove all of the screws around the device. We're going to pop out the CD drive, and then we're going to open it up. So this is a device that we previously worked on. I think we uh, upgraded this one with an SSD drive, so we changed out the hard disk to give it more performance. So you want to remove all of the screws all of the way around. Okay, we've got a screw missing over here. Okay, so we want to pop out the CD tray. There we go, like that, and then we've got three screws down the bottom here on this bottom panel. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is look for a suitable place where we can get a prizer in. And I think probably around the back is normally the easiest place to get under. There we go. Once you're in, it's just a matter of running the prizer tool around the edge and unclipping. All the way around. And over this side as well, we can get in here. There we go. I'll clip, and then the panel should just unclip all the way around. And again, you want to take your time with this it's always better to uh, get it released rather than breaking anything okay so that's the back released once we get to the front There we go. Just a matter of sliding the prizer tool, opening it up all the way around. There we go. And then the top should just lift off, which it does. 
Okay, so let's have a look at this device. So we've already upgraded this. Here's our Samsung 2 terabyte 870 QVO drive underneath here. The battery, as you can see, is underneath this area here. And we're going to have to remove one, two, three, one, two, three screws that I can see at the moment so let's take this bracket off the top these are smaller screws so we're going to put these to one side okay that's that bracket off and one screw here Okay, let's see if we can get the battery out. There we go, so the battery looks like it should come out. And then we're going to have to remove these cables here, so we're going to lift up this tab to remove that one, and we're going to lift up this tab under this riser cable. get a flathead screwdriver for this that lifts up we can remove that cable out and then the battery should lift out we just need to disconnect let's disconnect the cable from the motherboard I can see there and here okay so that's the battery all the way out let's now see Let's have a look on so this is the replacement battery as you can see here we've got to remove the cable from this battery which incidentally is very swollen if you look at it here you can see the swelling here and on this side of this first cell, the rest of the cells, actually, the last cell as well, feels quite swollen on this side and this side. So it's just a matter of prising out the cable. And there we go. And inserting the cable in this area here. like that okay what we're going to do is take the flathead screwdriver just to make sure that that is pushed all the way in which it, which it is and then we can get the cable We'll get the battery in so that fits in there nicely and then we're going to need to reattach the cable into the board here so again we're going to take a flathead screwdriver we're going to prise in one side at a time making sure that in there solidly which it is then we're going to take our ribbon cable and this is going to go back in here i'm going to lift up the tab That's it, get that in there properly. Lock that down. And then 
this one here also and then right prize up the feeder gonna go in there like that let's get the lock down okay and then we're going to take our three screws make sure that everything's in there correctly which it is right <coughs> okay so that's the device back together as you can see here we've got a 16 gig sticker memory on the right hand side here we, we've got the ability to add another 16 gig if we need to so there's another upgrade option here um, we've already done the SSD drive upgrade so that was a, um, a hard disk in here previously um, and that's pretty much it now what we're going to do is we're actually going to connect these back to how they were properly so we're going to remove this I'd forgotten about the bracket and screw goes in here and the screw doesn't go in here because that's through the bottom case so it always pays to remember where your screws were that goes in here okay now the next thing we want to do is before we do anything else is to make sure that the battery is good so we're going to turn this over and I'm going to just pop the power on as you can see here we've got the power light so that's all working and we've got a boot screen so I'm just going to press and hold that for five seconds turn it off so we know that that is all good and cover is going to go back on now And you want to make sure that everything clips in before you start attaching the screws so that it all sits in there correctly. There we go. Now the reassembly, so we've got the three small screws to go in down here using the small Phillips screwdriver. Difficult to feel with the gloves on. And then we can attach all of the other screws, making sure that they're done up nice and tightly. Okay, now we're going to get the drive and get that back in. And that's the shorter screw that goes in there. The rest of the long screws can go in. Bearing in mind that that was missing. Okay, and that's it. So we turn it over and we'll make sure that the device boots up and then we'll get it all charged. Okay, and give it a clean, obviously. We're going to take our power now and plug that in as well. Just to make sure that uh, it charges. So yeah, this battery, two, two extremely swollen cells. Um, 
one and three. The middle cell is, is slightly swollen, but it's nowhere near as bad as the other two. So that would explain why um, the battery power was dying after about a minute, because the battery is absolutely shot. Okay. And there we have it. So we can see our battery is charging, plugged in, better performance, remove it. Um, and it's all detected nicely. So we'll leave that to charge up and then this will be returned to the customer. So if you found that video useful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I just want to say thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.